these two is really just how their secondary works. Sword and bow play. I, mean, I know Katara's and Scythe play very differently, but Three, bow and sword two, also play one, very differently from each other. So their secondaries are going to work pretty well from, different from each other. And their signatures are very different too. It's just, I guess the specific kind of character archetype is kind of similar. Low defense, string heavy primary, backed by a good secondary. It's a similar archetype. Yeah, sorry. I, okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm, no, no, I, I'm I, sorry. I, knew, I just I knew it I said was, that very weirdly. My bad. Yeah, it was it was in a bit of a weird way, and it was just on instinct to kind of say it out loud because I thought it was funny. That's that's on my okay, bad. I should have held that in. Moving on. All right. Yeah, we don't have to. Incredibly no. well against Shadow. He was about to get that desync, which would have been the kill, but Shadow immediately reacting with that end light, and of course, just like last match, it seems Shadow is managing to hit Pierre quite a bit in this second stock even though pierre had such a super like large lead going into it shadow was doing good to get more damage onto pierre and he already has him on the orange and theoretically his sword side stick could kill here and make this like completely even but we'll see what happens pierre has been doing pretty good with like adding on damage on their second stock while he is ahead by a little bit all right he's been doing a good job just like snow piling damage onto shadow but we'll see what happens shadow could get this kill any second now okay but you don't want to go against katars off stage mm -hmm. trying to go for that and like just barely whiffing there pierre managing to catch that nair onto P onto shadow and shadow managing to finally land that sair still trying to find any sort of hit Onto Pierre. That was a good dodge. He didn't have a dodge there, so that was a good option. The D-Light into recovery, taking off his second stock. But just like what happened over that whole time period, Pierre managing to take a lot to Ooh. deal a lot of damage onto Shadow, and the side six will be the kill. Although Shadow Q is very adaptable, a little slippery if you do say so. We've seen some situations like this in their game um, uh, against, it was Arthur, right? Just now, I have a very awful memory. Yeah, Arthur, they had some games that looked like this against Arthur where they were pretty far behind, but look at this, still able to make it back. You can be ahead of Shadow, but you can't keep him behind. Yeah, and honestly, Shadow is doing really good. Wait, I was not paying attention. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, why? Why? Oh, why you, that is, oh, wait. Oh, he made it. He oh, made it. Oh, he's oh, still going. He's okay. still going. He, he's just, he's just, just let him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no breaks. Like I said, Shadow off stage, sight. Oh, the clash. Again, again he's a smart more committed move to these gimps than I am to my college work. Oh, that was a good... Ass falls out of the ground pound. Shadow Q is in just complete control right now. He's in flow state. Oh, he's in flow control! State. Oh my god! What was Total that control! Stock? Unshakable that was for half of the whole game. His last stock was half of the whole game. And he was unshakable for the entire last half of that game. That's gonna throw Pierre over on a Caspian. Oh, he's on the plague night, guys. Ladies and gentlemen. Caspian's been getting a lot of love lately, actually. Because at BCX, quite a few people... I remember there was a few people Sprite were... Was um, playing. Luna like, was on uh, Caspian, but there was quite a few people who picked Caspian. And it was a bit of a surprise. Like, I wouldn't expect you to pick Caspian. But lo and behold, we got our um, sly little magician boy on stage here. Trying to make... Uh, trying to make this... I guess trying to make it even against Shadow playing a literal Shadow. I gotta say, this guy picked uh, their name and character plus skin uh, quite nicely, because Shadow is literally playing a Shadow. Whoever's onto the stage is gonna be a good move, but Pierre's ready for it. Shadow Q is struggling. Um, 
maybe not so much just struggling, but having not as easy of a time against this Ember. Maybe it's just going to take a while for Shadow to get the read, because a lot of players will do that. With the first half of the game, or the first half of a set... Oh, that double side sig. So close both times. But yeah, players will sometimes do this thing where they don't go full, like, 102% just yet. They kind of wait for, like, the read to kind of get there. Um, I'm not saying they're throwing the first bit of the game, but, like... They're just trying to get a feel for it, you know. There's a bit of an introductory dance, but this introductory dance, uh, Pierre is really trying to... That was... I don't know. For some reason, it was funny how he caught that. Even though he threw it right up, of course he was going to catch it. Someone was oddly comedically timed about that. Just plop. Either way, Shadow is struggling a lot unarmed. Pierre has a good chance to completely overlap this Jiro. Oh. Sits still. Weapon throws... Seeing the weapon spawn and successfully weapon starves, Shadow might have to try and get all three of Pierre's stocks on his last. Okay, Fine. but even soon gets the recovery. <sighs> all right, one so next, he doesn't go down to his last stock yet. They are both on their second stock, but Shadow. Yeah is very damaged here. Pierre oh is doing a lot more this game than he oh was able to do oh last game. But we'll see what happens, all right? Last game was half on Shadow OQ's last stock, just like you mentioned. Oh my god. So, yo, yo, please, Doug. No actual, oh no. Oh wait, Dodge is out of it. Yeah, Shadow Q has had to fight a decent amount of guitars this tournament, so. As definitely, I mean, in general, you gotta be ready to fight anything, but shout out, this is just like, has definitely warmed up to try and counter Katara's. Pierre has gone for that end light recovery, uh, I think that's like the third time or something, and it hasn't really worked that often. It did work once when Shadow Q had a dot burned against someone playing else, but so far not cool. Yeah, Pierre does not really have a perfect read. Shadow is just placing these dodges really well, and that's gonna let him survive just that barely Ooh, much longer no. than it will take to make it back to stage and dodge all of these signatures, oh, no. but you can see the exclamation marks coming oh, out. Yeah, There's gonna be three exclamation marks. No, that was just one. The jumps reset somehow. Pierre has the chase, but still not quite the read. Shadow placing his dodges perfectly can let him last just a little bit longer. How long can he last unarmed? Oh, ah, the one that read. That was one of the only reads that Pierre had this whole game, and it was the round winning kill. Incredible job coming out from Pierre, taking the second game, bringing this a one to one. <laughs> Against Shadow of Two. We looked at the PRs, we literally saw the power ranks. But this is why I, uh, this is why, as someone who is horrible Three, at math, two, I love Brawlhalla. Because you can look at the numbers before you get into the game. Like, I'm going I'm to read some of it out uh, right here. It was, what, PR 9 to 200-something? Four top 8s to zero top 8s? 24 top 32s to zero top 32s? You could look at the numbers and you could say, like, oh, this is easy. This man, my man's got in the bag. But look at this. Game 3 of a 1-1, one, one, and things are almost perfectly dead even. Yeah, honestly, this is looking really good for Shadow right now. He's bringing this damage even. But yeah, just like you mentioned, the PR differences are crazy. Ooh. For how much both of these players have been keeping it even and even. Oh no, I was not expecting that to hit. I thought that wasn't going to hit, but still managing to land that uh, D-Sig hit onto Shadow. Pierre managing to land that end light even though he was like directly above him. Shadow's trying to look for a weapon, finally picks up the sword, but Pierre is just not letting this man breathe, almost taking this to a whole stock in his lead, trying to go for the ground pound. That would have been a really cool play there, but Shadow is uh, just not letting it happen, trying to go for the end sick. Pierre also trying to go for the end sig. I've been seeing a whole lot of signatures this matchup. I mean, these are both characters that uh, for a while were pretty underutilized, and so therefore, there was a uh, some time in like 2020, uh, I, wondered, I don't know, some there were a few times where we would, oh no, that, that was actually not it. Oh no, no. 
Yeah, there was a few times where someone would pick Caspian or Geo and be like, ooh, that's a character people don't pick that much. That's going to come out as a surprise. You can catch Not people anymore. off guard with those signatures. And then they would continue to catch people off guard with those signatures, just like Shadow Q caught Pierre off guard with that signature. But now since both of these characters are being played a little bit more, they're getting shown a little bit more love, especially um, with Caspian... I don't know if I want to say meta, but a lot of people are having Caspian in the pocket. And also, we got a big group of people that are just dedicated to the Jiro. Swear, live, ride, or die by the Jiro. So now, you're not really going to have people just as surprised by these signatures. Yeah, and honestly, these Jiro players, AO Blue, Shadow OQ, have been absolute crazy players that need to that people need to watch out for. But let's see what he does, because against Pierre, it doesn't seem like the Jiro supremacy, the Jiro domination seems to be doing much against him. Alright, he's a whole stock in the oh. lead, and the sidelight chase dodge up right there takes this kill. So, this could be Shadow's last game in the set against Pierre, in lower bracket, of the tournament there's hopefully the pressure isn't quite getting to him too much that's going to put a decent amount of pressure on him but hey sometimes you only play best when you get Three, the adrenaline two, flowing one, when everything four. just kind of falls right into place and you just need that fire under your sea shadow picking up sword played a lot of um a scythe for a bit that's kind of what their last set looks like they played a lot of scythe and that definitely worked but their opponent learned how to play around their scythe quite well and so they had to pick up sword bring it to a game of five and just work their magic from there so the fact that they're choosing to play a lot more on sword than scythe i gotta say it's a pretty good sign listen you are someone who is so far away from your pr this is I'm even surprised that like this is possible to be this late in the bracket and have two people with such vastly different PRs face off against each other in this circumstance. But still, I have some faith in Shadow. This is exactly the position that we saw him take a game five from earlier. Whoa! Ooh. How does he that. make it back? Oh, nice exhausted recovery coming out from Shadow. Oh Maybe my he hit. god! Did you like dare? I could tell that he was trying to go for a recovery there, but. Pierre is just not letting him breathe, trying to go for the ground pound, trying to get this kill as early as possible. The D-Light GC side sig, one dodge frame. Last I remember, one dodge frame coming from Pierre, and he manages, manages to get that dodge lead and do as much damage as possible. Shadow on sight is absolutely crazy, but managing to move directly around that Caspian d -Sick. He was trying to catch Shadow off guard with that, but Shadow knew ahead of time. The recovery finally taking that first stock off of Shadow, but he managed to take a lot of damage, managed to deal a lot of damage onto Pierre after, uh, before losing that stock. All right, but let's see what Pierre can do. You can tell that he's trying to go for something crazy. No, no! Wait, he's a buff! Why? Literally, why? Actually, you know what? Worth it. Considering that he's in the lead, that means Shadow's on tourney stock. Considering that he was in the lead, this is definitely worth it for Pierre. Oh, Pierre is probably... F yeah, Pierre's feeling... Oh, never mind! Pierre was a bad. Mm -hmm. feel really confident. Throwing a lot of sigs. Being pretty bold. Like, you know, I can get this. I can afford some of these stray signatures. If I got punished, whatever. I'm gonna pick it up later. Pierre was feeling pretty confident, but that huge scythe combo putting Shadow in the oh, this no. stock. Bringing us closer to the game. Five! Gonna prove Pierre wrong on that! Just not letting him breathe. You gotta take the whole game seriously. Oh, he does Okay. He's super deep red, trying to get any sort of kill. The Nair. Shadow out of a dodge. Shadow out of a dodge. Pierre, I'm just kicking notes of the dodges, but it's recovery. not a dodge. We're going party. to game five. We're going it to game five. just picking up. Let's see. The if Shadow knocks Pierre oh. out here. If Shadow knocks, I'm gonna say this again. If Shadow knocks, also get a good look at his profile pic, his little icon. Now that I'm saying it right here while we're at the screen, Shadow, look at that. Um, but yeah, if Shadow, if G Shadow knocks Pierre down here, I 
Three, I will two, be speechless. One, this map might make life a little bit harder for Shadow because we've seen Shadow recover under the stage. Oh, all right, we got to reset. All right, reset. They're reset. All right. It's fine. All right. But Shadow, there is a chance that Pierre gets out at fifth this tournament. And that is wild to think Oh, about. I think we need to, we need to. Oh, hello, Jerry boy. Um, but yeah, actually that is foreshadowing. Um, if you, uh, if you can pick up what I'm putting down with that Jerry boy popping in there for a little bit, mm -hmm. we got some foreshadowing, but next <laughs> I don't spoil. I said foreshadowing, not spoilers. God. Um, no, I spo I'm the one running the stream. I'm getting out of casting. I'm going to be handling all the production while Jerry talks. Because I can't talk. Well, yeah, but I I just said foreshadowing. You spoiled it. Now everyone at home, okay. everyone well, who's watching. Sorry, graffiti. My bad. It's, it's, all, it's all good. Just, just don't do it again. Because I know you took the time to try your best to write a really good script for this tournament, which you've done a great job so far. But what's the point of writing such a good script if you're going to spoil it? Shadow check your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, while we got Shadow, um, actually it was Pierre who wanted the, uh, the reset. It's kind of weird seeing Shadow go for the restart. Uh, that or there was the little pop-up that said player disconnect and I didn't see it but either way we got Shadow Ock back we got Pierre ready with the speed stance look at that uh, 7 speed Shadow Q gonna still lock in with the defense stance which you kinda need that Three is not an I know that like stats only really make small differences and it really depends on how you play it but like if you were to choose three defense over not three defense, you're gonna pick not three defense. And Shadow Q being no different, gonna make his character just a little bit more balanced, a little bit more, I guess, optimized. You know, as much as that takes away some damage, he doesn't need it. He really doesn't need that bit of damage that he's losing from that. He picks that up. He picks up that slack. He covers that area. And it looks like so far this isn't a reset because we're getting too late to the point where it could be a reset, which means we're in game five. Yeah, we're in game five. Pierre still on the Plague Knight. Shadow still on the Jiro. Of course, the same picks that they've been on this entire, entire set. Ooh, that covered a lot of area. That was good from Pierre with the D sig, also the the weapon throw. That was good. Yeah, but nice end sig coming out from Shadow and the D. <laughs> Shadow taking that first <laughs> dog. I was not expecting that to hit, but it did. Pierre realizing he's been disrespected and trying his best to disrespect him back. <laughs> All right, but Shadow with this scythe in hand again. This is scary for Pierre right now because we're on game five. This is the game that matters. This is the game to decide who is moving on. And Pierre is now down. Yeah, and you can also see Pierre uh, being very worried. They would spend a decent amount of time on the ledge. They would spend some time being very careful how they approach. They would, you know, there was that one haymaker they just kind of threw out once they touched down on that second stock, which worked. That was actually pretty impressive, too. Pierre is choosing not to grab a lot of stage control. You can see them trying to get a few callouts, thing like, I think I know what you're doing, but so far the read is just in Shadow favor along with stage control. If Pierre doesn't pick things up, this could be looking like a three to one stock lead Shadow. Throws Pierre down to, uh, yeah, tournament stock. Ah. Not without a response, not without response, I do say. Yeah, incredible job from Shadow bringing Pierre down to his tournament stock already while being a whole stock in the lead. But let's see what he can do. Trying to find any sort of way to approach onto Pierre with these with this scythe. But Pierre doing a lot doing a lot to try and get this early kill onto Shadow. Alright, the sidelight, chase dodge side up. 
All right, you can tell both of them are just trying to do something. Of these guys. All right. The, the game is slowing down, which means it is in favor of the person who is in, who is losing, which happens to be Pierre. After just barely being able to make it back to stage, Shadow is kind of playing this game with him. Very interesting choice. Shadow isn't choosing to um, keep on the pressure. Is actually playing Pierre. At his own game, it doesn't really have much of the read anymore. So Pierre doing a lot of good adaptation and controlling the speed of the game, making life a little bit more difficult for Shadow, which is going in his favor. Pierre is about to even out stocks, and I don't want to call a reverse three stock too early, but if a three stock is what you gotta do, this is a pretty good position to be in. As although Pierre is about to touch down into red. These walls can be pretty far, and so therefore it might be a little bit difficult for Shadow to try and find an early KO. Uh, especially since Sword has been working the better in the set so far, so Scythe might not be good for like an early, uh, an early KO. Gonna punish that end sig. Pierre, oh, not too far off both sides for of both. Game. Pierre needs to pull something huge though. Shadow back onto Scythe. Pierre, you can see immediately jumping back after some of his commits, and also jumping over Shadow, trying to be as careful as possible. Bit of soft, little bit of soft platform tech, being very unpredictable. It feels like Pierre is ready to start picking up the pace again. You can see the movement immediately stepping oh, up, oh. chases for the near recovery, yeah, he's and is now starting to now be in control. Used to be just like wasn't you know had some things under his control, but is now in control, and. This reverse three stock is looking more real than ever. No gauntlets, only guitars. That scythe side light is gonna make life difficult for the Caspian. Ooh. And the oh, that's it. shadow! <laughs> <laughs> After PR everything, 46 versus PR9. Oh my god. After everything that Pierre has gone through. Upset of the month.